back, I got to stop these bitches dropping their mouth down. Yeah. Run away, my grandmama help me out. I don't give a fuck about no bed. I sleep on the couch down. But I can write a book about the rainy day. I don't got to drop a say to get a fan base. I don't a real bitch waiting for the fan base. I am a dummy down as a bitch ate. Uh. The bitch try to hug is the cocaine. Cocaine, she gon' kill somebody. Drive through, she eating food. Time flu. Ooh. Prayers in the shoe. Motivated. Graduated. Bitch celebrated. She another bitch. A third bitch. And hoes. And she a pimp. And she getting head. Mm. 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 She going back to jail. And she got a twin. Oh, pussy working. They kissing in the rape. Kissing in the rape. All right, cut that shit. 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 Hey. So, everybody know I'm not a fan of City Girls. Young Miami, JT, none of them. I ain't no fan. But I respect JT for this song. That was uh, JT first day out, by the way, in case y'all don't know. But I respect her for this song. Because she came on, like, spitting, spitting, like, like she wanted to get a point across, like, hey, I'm back home and I can really spit. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that. You know, I, I listen to music. If I listen, I give any kind of music a chance. If it's good, it's good. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and she was on the thing spitting, and that was good. So, so yeah, good job, good job, JT. Shout out to your Miami for holding her down, as she said a million times. Do rag Tony in the building, cause I ain't come out here yet. I'm probably cut that bit tonight. You hear me? Might post a picture on Instagram so y'all can see my beautiful face and my beautiful haircut. Shade this a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? What's up, man? It's Wednesday. So the pie coming out Thursday, of course. You know, y'all seeing this Thursday. Man, it's going to be a little delayed. It might be like an afternoon. I might let it be on the afternoon. I don't know. Depending on if I go to work or not. I don't know how I feel. Because it ain't tomorrow yet. <sighs> Let's just. Where are we going to go? Want to just go straight to the bad? I just, I'm sorry, man. We gotta get straight to the bad because, I mean, it's the world we live in, right? Shout out to Donald, shout out to Donald Trump, possibly getting impeached. Hopefully he do, but I mean, he only got like what one year left in his term, so maybe a couple less than a year. I don't really know. So it's like, mm, y'all could have been did this two years ago, but anyway. So. They really, they really killed this man, bro. Like, let me pull this back up. Let me pull this. Let me pull this back up. Joshua Brown, that's his name. I didn't want to mess up his name. <clears throat> they really killed this man, bro. And they think we stupid. Actually, they don't think we stupid. They know we stupid. Because there's a lot of stupid people. Plus... They know they're going to get away with it, so it don't really matter. They didn't even try to, like, make some super elaborate story to, you know what I'm saying, to get away with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't overdo the story. They kept the shit simple and, like, fuck it. That's how, that's how much they respect us, man. They really saying Joshua Brown. So they really saying three dudes from Alexandria, Louisiana, which is where I was born and raised. Alexandria, Louisiana. They're really saying three dudes drove there, from there, to Dallas. <clears throat> to buy some weed. It went bad, and they ended up killing him. Is that possible? Duh. Of course. I'm from the streets. It's possible. 
Do people drive that far? Duh. Every day, B. People from Alexandria? And that's iffy. If, if you from L you if you from Louisiana and you know them parts, that's iffy that somebody's driving from Alexandria to Dallas for some for some dough. Depending on how much it was. They ain't released the amount, did they? Let me see. <clears throat> Actually they said <clears throat> excuse me. They said police obtained a search warrant and recovered twelve pounds of marijuana, one hundred and forty three grams of THC cartridges. And four thousand dollars in cash from uh, Joshua Brown apartment. Is there is uh, is the twelve pounds uh, relevant to what they was gonna buy from him? Maybe, maybe not. They can't. If they if they was coming to buy twelve pounds from him and the uh, TAC cartridges, understandable. But I mean, even if that was, it don't matter. This was this was fucked up at. So they saying these three dudes drove from Alexandria, Alexandria to Dallas to buy the to buy the, to buy the green and the drugs and stuff. Cool. These motherfuckers said that they also that the uh, the three dudes after they killed uh, Mr. Brown that they left the drugs and the money. They left the what and left the what. They they drove, nigga, how long I thought it is. Uh when I go home, that's about four hours and four four and a half hours, five hours. So they drove up to five hours. But it, probably driving slow so they don't get pulled over and all that other shit. Probably five hours. To to, you know what I'm saying, make the drug deal. <clears throat> and then ended up leaving the drugs and the money. So you telling me they had their own money to buy the drugs with. They gonna kill this man. And they like, I don't even want the drugs no more. Plus, I'm gonna leave my money here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave my money that I was coming to buy the nigga shit with here with a dead body. So it's like, hey, I ain't buy your drugs, but I killed you, so here's gonna money for your troubles. The fuck? Bro, like, like that's 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 that's, that's the point I mean by they, they they think people stupid, bro. Like, like what? That don't even make sense. That Movies are stupid. That shit don't even happen in movies. Bro, turn baby on, bro. Shout out to the Eagles, man. Caught the uh, Giants play Thursday night. They got the Thursday game. They about to lose. Tom Brady about to eat them up. So Eagles about to be number one in the uh, in the NFC East by Sunday. I had to like the move, bro, because it's like, like that's stupid. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like, bro. If I die, don't believe no stories the police tell y'all. Don't believe. And on top of that, the uh, the original death, right? Go look at the original death. The original death story was he came out of his apartment. I think they said he came out of his apartment. He got shot once in the mouth, close range in the mouth. And one time in the chest, if I'm not mistaken, that was the original death report. Now that he's up top, the now the autopsy, uh, yeah, the autopsy came out. They said he got shot twice in the chest. No, 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 no. Excuse me. The police chief said uh, in his story that he was shot twice in the chest, right? And then he said in the autopsy, he said he was shot in his lower, his lower, um, lower body area. So that could be. They, I don't think that's the chest, huh? I, I, let me, let me go look. At it. I'm just saying, if you hear lower body, that's like chest. I mean, that's like stomach, abs, maybe ribs, lower body. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. And then it's just what happened. Of course, y'all already know this just what happened to happen after he testified. Like, t amazing coincidence, dog. And then they bringing up all his, uh, you know, of course they got to bring up all his dirt. You know, a black a black person die, they got to bring up all your dirt instead of all your good stuff. Like they they brought up almost a year before he testified, Brown was wounded in a shooting at a Dallas strip club. They left another man dead. What the fuck they got to do with him dying? Like why even add this to an article? I can go look up all kinds of white people articles, them damn uh school shooters and church shooters and mass shooters. I can go look up all them articles. 
I guarantee I don't see no shit that's talking about their past. Like, like they was heavily influenced on drugs and shit like that. I guarantee you don't see no shit like that. Fuck out of here, man. On that bullshit. I'm just reading the article right now. That shit annoying, bro. Like, this man was up there testifying. And then if you watch the test, if you watch him when he was testifying, like you can tell, like I said, I'm I'm from the streets, so I know I know how hard it was for him to sit there and testify. And he was up there crying on crying on the uh, witness stand and stuff like that, cause he, cause I know in his head he was thinking, why am I up here? Why am I doing this? I don't even really know this dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm just his neighbor, but I did hear some yada yada. They got me up here trying to testify. Like I know he was feeling bad about doing it. He didn't really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But he probably was pressured into doing it or something. I don't really know. But I can you can you can tell he didn't really want to do it. That shit that's that's shit that shit rough, man. Man, we at the ten we at the ten eleven minute mark. So this part right here probably on YouTube. They ain't seeing the rest of this on Instagram because Instagram don't let me do ten minutes. So YouTube get the full version of the pod, which is twenty minutes. Shout out to the Eagles, man. We tied in the division, so we doing great. Shout out to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes doing amazing, man. That dude can throw from anywhere. Did you see the touchdown last Sunday? Jesus Christ. This man was, he scrambled back at least 15 yards. Escaped the pocket. Escaped the defenders. Off balance, running full speed, and threw a guessing 28-ish, 30-yard touchdown. Perfect pass. No defender in the way or nothing. Like, you know how hard it is? That shit crazy. You got uh, what else we looking like in sports and football? Uh, Cam Newton looking like he gonna get replaced as long as this dude keep winning because they was, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Panthers were zero and two, zero and three before Cam went down. Then Cam went down, the new guy came up and he's undefeated, two and zero I think, or three, and, yeah, two and zero should be two and zero. So if Cam come back in a couple weeks. Mm, it's one of two things. Either he gonna get the starting spot again as soon as he start fucking up. Probably like if he don't score no touchdowns or, or look like he doing something in the first half, they might replace him in the second half. Or they just not gonna start him. Personally, I wouldn't start him. I'll make him sit back, watch, and and, and remember that everybody replaceable. I think Cam started thinking he was still Superman from two years ago and thinking he wouldn't go lose his spot to another quarterback. But as you can see, Shout out to Colin Kaepernick, still not in the NFL, even though these quarterbacks are trash. But Colin's still not in the NFL. It's like y'all got these trash quarterbacks and y'all running with them instead of giving Colin a chance. It's obviously black ball. It's literally no reason or excuse. Shout out to Baker Mayfield. He's looking terrible. Uh, I think they two and two, the Browns are. Uh, two and three, maybe. He looking, Yeah, I think they're two and three. He looking bad. He used to, he, I remember when they first lost their uh, first game, they was like, remember, remember this, stay off the bandwagon. You guys are going to trash us, y'all, because y'all trash. Odell ain't getting the ball. The offense, the uh, head coach is a rookie head coach. So he's not doing a good job at, 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 at setting up plays for Odell to get open, I guess, because Odell ain't doing shit. You got to uh, touch your feet. Yeah, the Browns doing bad. What else we looking like? Ravens looking amazing. Not amazing. I right, calm down. Ravens looking good because of Lamar Jackson pretty good. Uh, what else we got? It's about all the standouts. Of course, Tom Brady doing his thing, but Tom Brady regressing. You can see the age. You can see Tom Brady age uh, starting to affect him. He regressing a little bit, but he's still Tom Brady. They undefeated. Forty Nine ers also undefeated somehow. Uh, Eagles play. We just destroyed the Jets. We play the Cowboys in two weeks, so we gotta go ahead and beat them so we can take the number one in the NFC East. That's about it for football, basketball. We looking like basketball is back. Preseason going on. People looking good. Zion looking good. Lonzo looking good. The Lakers looking. I'm a Celtics fan, so I fuck the Lakers. Fuck the Lakers forever. But the Lakers looking good. I ain't gonna lie. They got. Them motherfuckers got look. They can they can put out a lineup of LeBron, AD, and 
bro, they can literally put, they can put literally put LeBron at the, at, at the, uh, LeBron at the point. They put AD at the fucking power forward. They can put like Dwight at the center, or Javale McGee at the center. Like they got options. Imagine if Demarcus Cousins come back. They can put him at the fucking small forward, or power forward, or some shit to stretch the flow. That's three bigs. That's three capable bigs plus LeBron on the flow. And then press probably like Caldwell Pope on the wing or something to shoot threes or something. <sighs> Lakers look ridiculous, but you still got the Clippers, of course. Clippers over there looking amazing. Cause you got fucking Kawhi and uh, Paul George, so you can't go wrong with that. You got the Pistons, they got Derrick Rose. He over there doing straight. He alright. He ain't doing it amazing yet. It's just preseason though, so hopefully he can do something in the regular season. Him and Blake ain't got no chemistry yet. I can I can tell just from watching, but but also because Rose coming off the bench, so I guess there ain't really enough time to develop a chemistry with them. Uh, what else? Basketball. That's about all the standouts. Oh, uh, Russ and James Harden. So far, everything good, but it's just preseason. Uh, look like they look like they subbing Russ out at, at like at like the eight minute mark, seven minute mark, and then keeping James in to like three three minutes, and then take him out, and then put Russ in to run the second unit. That's what it's looking like so far. Uh, but we will see. Yeah, music. No really good music came out. Uh, tomorrow Friday, so the new music come out for tomorrow. But in this past week, the only thing came out good was Summer Walker album. Uh, so, I mean, that was great. I ain't really, a, like I said in my last one, I ain't really a Summer Walker fan. Uh, her and Janae both sound sleepy. So, they, they got that sleepy music, which is, which is good. They make beautiful music, but eh. Probably play when I'm trying to go to sleep or something. Like a like like fucking you know how people go to YouTube and type in like ocean noises and stuff? That's, that's what Janae and some walk will be typing in Janae album and she'll be singing. Go to sleep. Relax. Chill. You know what I'm saying? Some walk up I'll probably slide some ad libs in there. And we good. We sleep. As far as movies, I'm going to the movies to see Joker and Gemini Man, the Will Smith movie. That shit look lit. People hate people hating on it already, but the shit ain't come. Uh, it come out Friday. You got, of course, you got the, the um, pre-screen critics. They can watch it, of course, but you got people, regular people saying Gemini Man look trash. Like people really be judging. People really be judging stuff of uh, uh, trailers. Like it's a trailer. They want you to see what, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't tell, people, like, people got this notion that trailers really tell the whole movie. When I never understood that. Because I done seen all kinds of trailers, and then you get in the movie, and obviously you don't know what the hell is going on. Like, there's, like, when, I remember when Us came out, when the trailer first came out, they was like, oh, so, literally everybody said you've seen the whole movie, Us, and just the trailer. And then the movie dropped, and that trailer didn't mean shit. Literally, is that's a good movie? It's alright. People, are, everybody, I'm everybody saying it's a deeper meaning and all that. That's fine. I I didn't go to the movies to, to see a deeper meaning. A deeper meaning. I went to be entertained. But anyway, it was a good movie. Uh, I would I would rather get out. Of course, he got a new movie. He got Candy, Jordan Peele. He got Candy Man coming out. So of course I'm gonna be enough for that. Hey, that new Chucky movie was stupid, bro. That shit was horrible. What the fuck? Stupid ass shit. Shit. Yeah. Some bullshit, bro. All right, man. About to come up to 20 minutes. I appreciate everybody, man. People have actually been watching it, so that's nice. They've been giving me feedback and what I should talk about in my next ones. I'm still, I'm, I'm keeping everybody, you know, topics in mind. But obviously, they won't come just because you said it. It'll come on the next podcast. It'll be somewhere down in the future. You know what I'm talking about? I appreciate everybody. Love, happiness. Hey, get at me on 2K. You play 2K on Xbox. I'm a dog. I'm a guy. Best shooter on 2K. You know what I'm saying? I'm a guy. But, uh, yeah, do Red Tony. We out. Matter of fact, speaking of Alexandria, y'all seen the hat? Alexandria, my home city. I get a Baton Rouge hat at some point. My mama, I'm telling my mama to get me a Baton Rouge hat. Peace, man. Peace in the Middle East.